Hey guys, welcome to today's vlog. We have good news and we have bad news. The good news is Cassie had her baby. The bad news is we missed it. So yeah. you guys didn't watch the last vlog, basically long story, short but probably long. Yesterday she went in for her 37 week appointment and her blood pressure was high so they were monitoring her and then at four o'clock they decided to keep her but they were gonna give her like a cervix softener thing and then Pitocin later. So long story short, we thought the baby was gonna come like today in the afternoon. We didn't think he would be really fast and then we woke up at three in the morning to a phone call from Cassidy saying that she was already dilated to an eight and we thought about driving up yesterday but since like she was not even close to like going into natural labor. We didn't think that it would be so fast. So we thought if we woke up this morning at like eight and drove up here, we would totally make it and be fine. But when she called us and said she was at eight, it's like a four hour drive. So we were like, okay, we're not even gonna leave at three because we're just not gonna make it. <sighs> we're really sad and I cried because I was supposed to film the birth for them. So I feel bad because I didn't get a chance to do that. And I also haven't ever been in the delivery room before or like seen a baby be born or anything. So I just wanted to have like the experience of being in there before I have my own baby one day. And that didn't happen. And I have no friends are gonna like have a baby before me and Haley's not having any more babies. And Cassie's not gonna have another baby before I have one. So basically whenever that happens, I will just be going in not knowing exactly what to expect. We're just happy that the baby's here and she's healthy. She's so cute. She was four pounds and 11 ounces. She's so tiny. She was three early so she's literally so tiny and so cute and we're so excited to go meet her so Haley's in the car Corbin's in the car yeah, Parker's driving right. so sad I literally have been looking forward to this since the day that Cassidy said she was pregnant but I'm just happy that the baby's healthy especially because she's early but I'm seriously so sad you guys it's okay I already cried about it for like an hour <laughs> Where's the baby? What's up? How was it? It was quite the experience. We're freaking pissed, but so happy. <laughs> so sad. That was less exciting because we opened the door thinking she'd be in there. She wasn't. <laughs> Does that hurt on the wall? They put up her Already, picture because she's yeah. the cutest baby. <laughs> You're dead. They're putting her in a warmer. I think that that's her. her. That's her. <gasps> oh my goodness. <gasps> yep, Good thing I got her. this new zoom lens. Oh, nice. Oh, it doesn't zoom, doesn't zoom far, far enough. This lady's in the hey, way. Did you so cry? Cool. I like. It's weird. Like I thought I'd be I really. Cried. Yeah, I thought I'd be really <laughs> emotional, but like I haven't had time. Yeah. To like even. To Aspen really yet. let it sink in. Yeah. Aspen was really emotional. You were. I was so sad. Was... <gasps> She's so small. I know. She's very so tiny. small. Okay, <gasps> oh. who wants to hold her? We all do. I can't even imagine how small she is, like under the blanket. Zooming in, all the details. <laughs> She's got a little birthmark, is what they're saying. On her eye. On her eye. Like and there's one on her neck too. Mm. So she weighed four eleven. Yeah. How many ounces are in pounds? Sixteen. Mm -hmm. Sixteen. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. Sixteen. Mm. Sixteen inches. That's how That's tall tiny. she is. That's Which so I'm good. glad she was sixteen inches because like four pounds and eleven ounces and then like nineteen inches. <laughs> yeah. That's a that's a skinny <laughs> baby. Skinny. Yeah. Baby. <laughs> you gotta hear her make sounds. She's so sweet. She is so small and so sweet. Oh, she's so cute. Look at her little fingers. And her little baby toes. Okay guys, so yesterday was the best day ever. I'm so happy we got to meet the baby. It's the next day. We actually are heading down to the skate park. I'm all bundled up. How many degrees is it? 49? It's not that cold. We have Evie with us. Evie! Are you happy now? She hates the car. When we put her in here, I looked back and she was like shaking so bad. She still is a little bit. But we have her little leash. We're taking her out for the day. Oh. Why are you shaking? What did you think about yesterday? I thought it was cool. It was like the it craziest. It was unexpected and it was like, yeah. it was a cool adrenaline rush, I guess. It just, I feel like it just felt like a dream all day because yeah. we just weren't expecting that to happen. But it was really special. I think we're probably most likely gonna go back down there and see her again today. But yeah, it's like kind of far away from where we are. We're up at my mom's house. They are like an hour away, so gonna go back there later and see the baby again. I feel like we don't really have anything to 
like do today, which is weird. Yeah. Like normally we have like work stuff that we're doing like every day. So it's like, okay, wake up and like get this work thing done and like film this video and film this. But today I was like, okay, I don't really have anything to do because we're filming a little video up here, just an Instagram video, but I'm waiting on the stuff to get shipped to my mom's house. So I couldn't film that. And then that it's supposed to be here today. I can't like film my video for the week because we just like didn't know we were gonna be coming up here and like I just can't film that and we're already vlogging so it's like we kind of just have like nothing to do today so it's fun we're going to the skate park at 10 39 in the morning that's like something we never do and last night you guys we got the best ramen ever we went to this place it was in like Salt Lake it's called Jinya Jinya ramen bar or something like that ever since we went to Singapore I have been obsessed with ramen but we don't have it where we live like there's no places to get it really so we had the best ramen yesterday and then they had one dollar noodle refills like we still had a lot of the soup stuff left but no noodles and then they give you one dollar refills on your noodles so we got more noodles and we got some to go and i'm so excited for lunch because we're gonna eat it <laughs> it's gonna be so good i just love ramen it's so yummy <laughs> bad news we just pulled up to the park and it's literally full of children and evie is crazy it's like not even 11 a.m. on a Thursday. I don't know how these kids aren't in school, but we'll see how long this lasts because Evie likes to bark at people. Babe, we don't have anything to pick up poop. What'd you say? First heel flip of the day? Yeah, Seeing if he can it. land it. Oh, nope. Parker told me if I let go of this, I'm gonna be in really big trouble. Cause she will run. Some competition just rolled in. Oh, babe. Come on here on rollerblades and it's like the coolest thing I've ever seen. Babe, you should be a rollerblader. That's more original. I should what? You should be a rollerblader. That would be a cool I used scale. to have some really nice rollerblades that have the, the grind stuff in the middle of it or whatever. Really? Yeah. How long were we at the skate park, babe? Uh, four hours? No, maybe 30 minutes. Parker yeah. was not on his game today. No, I wasn't on my game. I didn't want to be there anymore. <laughs> Came back and we're eating our ramen for lunch. Evie's just hanging out. I'm also super excited because not in this vlog, but in a vlog soon, we're gonna be doing these DNA tests. 23 and Me. I'm so excited. Parker knows a little bit more about his family and like history, but I feel like I don't know a lot about mine. So comment down below if you guys have tried these before because I don't know if I know anybody who has. So that is it for our vlog today. We are so happy for Cassie and Jared to have had their little baby and the fact that she's really healthy and nothing is wrong with her and she's here. So we're so excited for little baby Ollie to be here. We're just excited for Cassie and Jared that they're today they're actually able to go home. That's gonna be it for our vlog today. We hope that you guys enjoyed. If you guys aren't subscribed to our channel, make sure you guys subscribe and we'll see you guys in our next video. Bye guys. Thank you.